Hey, welcome. Well, I'm going to take you on a little trip with me. So I'm just going to take a little bit of footage for you guys so that you can see what I'm about. I'm actually flying to Florida today with um, one of our little cream colored puppies. So I'm taking, I'm hand delivering her to a family in Florida. So they'll meet me at the airport there and yeah, I'll give it I'll give the puppy to them and because they wanted someone to hand deliver her just so they can know that she's safe, which is a good thing. And so, yeah, it was kind of a surprise for me because um, it was just like a little surprise getaway for me. He's, uh, they're paying for my motel and I have a whole day there in Florida just to have fun. And by the way, also my my cousin that I hadn't seen in years, uh, she's from Kentucky and they actually came to visit us just a few days ago and she heard I was going to Florida to deliver this puppy and her husband's a pilot. So, so she decided she's gonna go fly and meet me there since she can usually f fly uh, for free, I believe. So um, She's going to fly and meet me there, and we're going to spend the day together. So I'm really excited about that. So I'll take you along and just give you a little bit of footage here and there. So I better get inside the airport and get moving. break and I found some friends here who have a little cat actually a pretty big cat looks very yeah he's very long very nice he's only about five or six months old really yeah so he's still pretty young looks very pretty I'm at my gate here in Dallas and it's warm and I'm waiting for my cousin who's going to meet me here. Uh, I just talked with her so she'll be here in a few minutes but anyways had a good flight so far. The puppy did really well. I took her to a uh, puppy uh, potty area and she went right away and I'll show you how she's doing right now. So here she is in her cute little backpack cage that I can expand and deflate um, when I fly. And she's been really, really good. Just quiet, slept through the flight. And she didn't drink too much water. She didn't want any. She ate a couple bites of dog food and that was it. Well guys, I delivered the puppy and I did not video that for privacy reasons, but now we are in our motel and getting ready to settle down and can't wait till tomorrow to do some sightseeing. 
Okay guys, it's the next morning and we went and picked up a vehicle at the car rental place in the airport and uh, now Josie's driving. <laughs> <laughs> We're driving all over the place trying to find certain places, which is a lot of fun. We're just having a lot of fun. Actually, I don't think I would have gotten a car rental if, um, or a rental car if Josie wouldn't have been along. So she made all these decisions, which are very fun because I probably would have just hung around the motel or did a little shopping and that was probably it. But we're just hanging out, having fun. We just got our coffee here. And so we're trying to find some neat old, like neat old trees. Here in Florida, they have some really old trees, beautiful trees, maybe take some pictures there and um, maybe drive through some old, like plantation neighborhoods or some, like some old historic, house. historic houses. houses. Yes, do that and of course get some shopping in. Yes. And so and maybe a salad for supper. Yeah, something for dinner. <laughs> we're old souls. Right? <laughs> old things. I love old. Things. Yes, we like we like old stuff. So we both like kind of like the same thing. So it makes it a lot of fun. It does. So here we are close to, I think we're kind of in downtown at Jacksonville, Florida, but they have this huge old tree right here in the middle of it. I can't even get it all in. It's just huge and hanging over. It's just beautiful. We want to go walk in there. This is just amazing. If you love old trees, this is a place to come to. It's just incredible. This videoing doesn't do justice. It's so neat how there's like ferns and stuff, moss growing on the branches, on the limbs. That's what makes it look so cool and mystical. just got done taking some pictures by that huge old tree it was it was beautiful and you know some people might not think it's fun to go visit an old tree <laughs> but That's what makes us fun yeah it's to the weird one yeah it's um, strange what some people find you know enjoyable and for us both it's enjoyable to go find these old places and old things and just look at them and uh, feel them, experience them. Nature, in yes. general. Yes. It's just, I like nature. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So we got rained on and our <laughs> curled hair got all frizzy, but um, we had fun. We took some pictures there. Made memories. And, yes. Yeah. And now we're just going to go check out an old part of Jacksonville. Just an old. See if we can find some old historic houses. Yeah. Well, we didn't end up seeing any historic <laughs> buildings. Oh. Our Google Maps took us everywhere but there, it seemed like. <laughs> so we just, we just decided to quit and go shopping, and which we had a lot of fun. We went to a whole bunch of different stores. Of course, we went to Ross. I love Ross. And Walmart. Actually, this is a Walmart find these um they're like olive colored boots and i love that color for fall yes. so i got those and if you have never tried these if you like ginger 
this, this, these are called ginger chews and they're 100% natural and they're so good. I can chew on them all day long. She got me started. Now I'm chewing on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, now we're going to Cracker Barrel to eat dinner. I'm back in my old stomping grounds. I had a good trip. It was a quick trip, but we had a full day there in Florida where we just spent time having just fun, girl time, and it was so nice to reconnect with uh, my cousin, and um, hopefully we'll do this maybe a little bit more than we did. It's been years since I saw her. But I'm ready to go back home. It was a gift though. It was, it was, I just felt like it was a gift to be, for me to go there. I, it wasn't planned, but uh, the guy, the family who bought the puppy um, didn't want it to be shipped by cargo and he wanted someone to hand deliver this puppy. So he actually paid for first class for me uh, to ride down there and um, and he paid motel and even some for during the day while I was there so he I was really blessed I had I was just it was just a good time and it was kind of unexpected so it was kind of a fun little trip I like traveling anyways and I don't travel alone too much so it was it was a good experience and uh, so now I'm going home. Joas had texted me telling me that they had worked out in the garden and had gathered in all the grapes. There was quite a bit of grapes and picked up all the pumpkins and took some of the corn, sweet corn down that was uh, dead and ready to be brought down. So this week I have to can grapes, which it's easy, it's not really hard. It's just a little bit time consuming. Anyways, Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this to the end. We really appreciate you guys. And thank you for hitting the subscribe button and watching our channel. Love you guys.